Hi Cancer, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for May 2020. This month I'm using the Tara Mukha Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Ascendant and Cancer Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, you might want to check your cusp sign out because people have notified me that certain months they find their messages and predictions coming to them from their cusp sign are resonating with them. So you might want to check those out. So all that being said, Cancer, now onto your May 2020 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have, Cancer, is the Ace of Rods, and the Ace of Rods is new beginnings. This could be new beginnings of any kind, love, new job, new home, receiving an inheritance, birth of a child. I feel like you're actually making some kind of breakthrough starting in May where you're going to feel like things are like starting to happen now. You may find yourself in a little bit of a whirlwind of activity, maybe not through the entire month. It may take a little while, maybe towards the middle toward, and toward the end of May, midpoint to the end of May, you may feel like that. Some of you are closing the deal, closing a deal on selling a house or buying a house. Some of you are gonna be experiencing a rebirth and a reigniting of love in a love relationship. You may feel like you've got your true power back or like if you feel like you lost your mojo, your mojo is back, you're back baby. Like that kind of uh, feeling. If you're in a work-related situation, you may be w making a lot of waves at your workplace. You may be causing people to stop and consider what you're saying. I feel like you may, for some of you, the, the making waves could be, you could be speaking out about things that you think are unfair or unjust or protocols that need to be changed or people that have been undermining you or people that have been stealing or doing things that were are inappropriate or illegal or people that need to be fired or uh you know man think about it you could make waves in so many ways you could be making waves in positive in a positive sense but it does come up to me that whatever waves you're making you're going to give people some pause to stop like oh, whoa and think about what you're saying you may even feel in May like you have won some battle or war or argument or fight or, you know, disruption. You may feel like you win a battle. I feel like you're going to do and say some things that are going to catch some people off guard and you're going to behave kind of unexpectedly or things you're going to say are going to be quite unexpected. I feel something about what you're doing, saying, or how you appear or what you do is going to turn some heads. Some of you, you may be like looking really hot and people are going to be like, whoa, look at cancer. Wow. What's up with them? But for some of you, like I said, you could be making waves in some other ways or saying or doing some unexpected things and you could win an argument or win a fight. I also feel that um, you could even be revealing something to someone like f emotions, like telling them you have feelings for them or revealing it maybe feelings of other kinds, maybe not love, other kinds of feelings you could be revealing in May of 2020. The next card you have um, Aquarius also had this card. You have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is the karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor. Planets in the heavens, spirit guides around you conspiring to give you karmic good fortune, or it could be the ups and downs of karma. You're really ready to move on with your life. Anything that was stuck or stagnated, uh, maybe because of what's been going on out in the world or other, maybe not even because of that in other ways, 
you're ready to move on. Sorry, this camera is glitching, so I apologize. I don't know why it's doing that. It did that for a couple of the other signs too. I feel like tables are turning in your favor and I feel like a lot of your focus is going to be on how you can create something with real staying power and lasting value for your life. Things that are going to bring true happiness, contentment, fulfillment into your life. Like if you feel like life shouldn't be such a, so such drudgery, so filled with uh, the ordinary, the mundane, the stagnant, uh, like trivial details. You're going to be looking for things that feed your soul, that sustain you, that where you could have real staying power, whether it's a love relationship or a career or a job or a new living situation or some kind of creative endeavor. You may even be putting some consideration and thought into how you can change or upgrade your home and living or living space. Your sensuality is increasing and I feel that you're going to be doing things that you may want to capture people or someone in particular's attention. Maybe you're going to go on a diet. Maybe you're going to have some plastic surgery. Maybe you're going to have a makeover or change your style in some way. Uh, but I feel like you're going to like, when I say capture somebody's attention, I feel like this is in an alluring way, like in, you know, your sex appeal, your sensuality, your attractiveness way. You may be hard, trying hard to remain neutral, but I do feel that you're going to be drawn a bit to the unconventional and unusual in May also. Why can't I have this? Why can't I do this? I feel that these are questions you're going to be asking yourself. Why should I be kept from this? Why am I held back from that? You're going to be asking yourself questions. And if you are the key to and the solution to those answers, you're going to start following the, those answers to make things happen for yourself in a manner in which you want. You know, uh, this can also be karmic cycles ending a karmic cycles beginning. And I kind of feel like you're like, I'm done with that old karmic cycle. I'm, I'm all up for this new karmic cycle. So let's shake things up, baby. How can we make this happen? Like for your own self and maybe with other someone you're interested in. You have the two of swords next. This is a block, a stop or a stalemate. You could be having to make a decision uh, you could be being protective of yourself in some way. There's emotions tied up here in all of this. I see that you are having to let go of some insecurities and or fears that have held you back. So you're realizing that you've been protecting yourself. You've been blocking things from happening because there are like I said, insecurities or fears, and you're going to be thinking about releasing them and letting them go now. They're not serving you anymore. You're also not going to be accepting things that are being thrust upon you that you do not want or like. If you work someplace and they're thrusting changes and things in your, in your work environment or asking things of you that you don't like, you're not going to have it. You're not going to do it. And this also goes along as well in love relationships too, or friendships or other clubs, groups, organizations, or situations that you're in and things are getting thrust upon you where it's like it's mandated or this is the new rules or that you're not, you're not going to have it. You're not going to put up with it. I feel like you're going to come to the realization that you can see that there's even just changing one little thing in your reality can change the course of many things to come. You may also find yourself that you may feel like there's been too much dissension in the ranks and you don't like it. That could be within your family situation. Maybe there's too much arguing and bickering and you can't stand it and you don't want to put up with it anymore. 
It could be at a job. It could be at a group, club, organization. It could be in a love relationship. Your awareness of things is changing too. You may feel like you're going to start looking at things from more of a mystical side or metaphysical side, like reasons and solutions like, well, why did this happen? Or why is this the situation? You may not look at it like, oh, it's this or that. It's black or white. You may start to look at it like there's a spiritual reason that this stuff is going on. There's a spiritual reason for this, these arguments or these rules or these regulations or things I don't like being thrust upon me or why I'm in this position. You may start to look at it from uh, bigger perspectives and not things that are like so obvious right in front of you like, oh, it's because this person's difficult or that person's on a power trip or this person is jealous or that person's psychotic. It's going to be like you're going to see behind the veil of things of why in a more, I don't know, I'm calling it a mystical way. I, I don't know, metaphysical or mystical way. The next card you have here in your reading today, Cancer for May of 2020, is the Strength card. And the Strength card is having to access your inner courage and inner strength having inner courage and inner strength over adversity. This is spiritual power over the material world. It could also be taming the savage beast in yourself or in a situation. It could also be having to deal with a Leo. You may feel like the heaviness of the world is upon you and now it's high time that you make some decisions and changes. You feel like there's things, certain things that you can control in your environment and certain things that you can't. And the things that you can't, you may really turn to spirituality to try to solve those issues. You could be going through astrology, talking to astrologers, talking to psychics, talking to mediums. You could be doing these things yourself. You could be getting hypnosis, past life regression, uh, things like that, like looking for ways uh, it could even be religion, if you're a religious person going through prayer, meditation, and religion to get answers and try to solve problems in your life. Because I see you see you, there are certain things you can control and that you have a handle on, but there are certain aspects you feel like are out of your control or out of your hands, and therefore those are the things you're going to start to get more plugged into spiritually about. You may be even getting unnerved by some people in your life that are kind of like practicing illegal practices or racketeering, or it could be a job or a business you work for that may, you may be suspicious that there's illegal or illicit activities going on, or even in your friend, friendship circles or groups you're involved with or belong to, you may suspect illegal ac activity, uh, racketeering, whatever, pirating, racketeering, all those words, illicit behaviors. And you've had to, you've had to have strength. I, I feel like you've been, have knowledge of it, have been suspicious of it, or you know, like I said, or you have knowledge of it. And I feel like this has been a weight on you. It's been oppressive to you. You could have people in your family that have been behaving this way. I feel like you're getting closer to the mother, father, creator uh, more than you have before. I feel like some things that have happened in your life have been purposely kind of leading you to that or driving you or guiding you to that. So the last card you have in your reading is six of rods and this is victory after a battle. You're now ready to move forward and you are going to succeed and you're going to be like, ha ha, see me succeed. I'm cancer. I'm succeeding. So even if you don't feel like you're succeeding in May, this could be coming up in May, in June, July or August. I do feel moving forward, you're getting out of some kind of unhealthy uh, calamity or situation that wasn't wholesome, good or healthy for you. You could be moving to a better place, a better area, a better neighborhood with better neighbors, cleaner air, better health. 
You could be moving on to a new job with better employers, nicer coworkers, uh, better benefits, more pay, like that kind of thing. Like you're moving on to something that's better. Could be new relationships, new friendships as well. This may create some animosity kind of thrown at you by people of the past that you're leaving. The people you're leaving behind could, uh, this could drive off, drive up some animosity at you because you're moving on and they're going to be still stuck or still, you know, going round and round in the same situation, but you're getting out of it because you're moving forward victoriously. You're also going to be distance, distancing yourself and getting away from people with shallow and superficial thinking and separating yourself as well from tyrannical behaviors, people with tyrannical behaviors and agendas. And in the future, you're going to be laughing and casting aside any fears and doubts, like, because you're, you're going to be laughing at that you made the move, you made the decision, you cast aside your fears and doubts and moved forward. And you're going to be laughing at it because you're going to be like, why did I work myself up so much about that in the past? I should have gotten out of that and left that situation sooner. Whatever the situation is for you, remember what I said, because it's a general reading. This situation could have been your marriage, a relationship, a living situation, a job, a circle of friends you belong to, some kind of club or group you were involved in, whatever. And you may have felt like guilty or scared or fearful that you couldn't leave. And then you're going to leave and you're going to be like, man, what did I wait so long to do that for? This is so much better. That's what I feel is coming. Now, some of you may experience it in May, but if you don't experience it in May, May may be the, the starting point and it could happen in subsequent months of June, July, or August because this is a general reading. And as I've said, if you've listened to me for years, I always say timing is going to be different for all of you. And uh, as I've said recently, I need to bring it to people's attention because even though these are psychic readings, my guides use astrology. They're connected to the planets and what's going on with the planets. So they are utilizing astrology, even though I'm not a professional astrologer. And when professional astrologers do your chart, they are using your rising sign to tell you a lot of what they're telling you. Your sun sign is important, but you really need to pay attention to your rising sign. So if these messages aren't resonating with you, this may be really talking to cancer rising people. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please be sure to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. If you would like to receive notification when I upload my videos to YouTube. As I always say, my most recent video series that are I've recorded for my Vimeo on-demand pages, which are filled with predictions and messages channeled from my spirit guides for specific topics and astrological configurations and many different things. Those links are always posted below these videos down below in the description box in the show more section. And they're also on my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. You go to the videos tab on my menu and there you will, if you click on that, you'll see all the different video series I have listed, what Oracle cards or tarot cards I used or crystals or whatever I've used, how long the predictions are for. So you can read the descriptions there, pick the series that you want, click on the sign you want, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, some of the most recent video series, as I say, I always post them below. And every month I do psychic crystal readings. This month, the psychic crystal readings for each zodiac sign for May 2020. That link is down below. Where I stop this video at the end and I continue on looking into the crystal, and get additional messages and predictions from my spirit guides for you 
for this month of May 2020. So if you're interested in getting those, that link is below this video. Important angel messages for these changing times for each sign of the zodiac. That link is below this video. I used Angels and Ancestors Oracle card. I used the Keepers of the Light Oracle cards and Ask an Angel Oracle cards and got messages from angels uh, and guides as to what you need to know from these important and changing times that we're going through, this pivotal time in, on Earth. You've incarnated here for a purpose at this time. So these messages may speak more to your soul. They do give messages and predictions. So you might want to check those out. The other most recent link I have uh, down below is also from my What's Lucky and New for You Psychic Tarot Readings in 2020. What's lucky and new for you in 2020 for each sign of the zodiac. Psychic Tarot and Oracle. There's an Oracle card in there for each sign as well. So that link is below this video. I also have several other links below this video that would pertain to what you're going through right now as far as astrologically. There are psychic tarot and oracle cards and crystal readings connected to that. Those links are below. Um, if you would like to help support this channel and donate to my channel, below all those links is a donation link connected to PayPal. And I want to say thank you so much for all of you that have been very generous and donated to my channel. It does help a lot. Thank you so much for that. And if you would like to receive more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC also on Facebook, and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram. I use many different divination tools there and give you psychic predictions and messages that are not just for the day that I post the messages. Sometimes they're talking a few months out, a few weeks out. It's never just for one day. Many people find those messages resonate with them and you may find they resonate with you as well. So I'd love to see you over there if you would like to check that out. So I hope you have all the possible positive energy and uplifting energy come to you this month of May 2020 and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.